Illinois State Police found the body of a St. Louis County woman days after her ex-boyfriend confessed to her murder. She was reported missing more than a week ago. Our Justina Cornell was with the family earlier today and joins us in studio. Justina. Yeah, and so families say she was found in northern Illinois near Chicago. It was news they were looking for. It was their plea this morning as they did their own search in St. Louis. With every step, each move was meant to find Markeisha Williams, a mother of four. Like we are past the point of importance. We're, it's not even desperation, it's urgent. It is very urgent. Thursday afternoon, the family's desperation was met with discovery. Illinois State Police found her body near Chicago. Very sweet, loving mother. Took well good care of all her four children. She's just very sweet, quiet young lady. This is after her ex-boyfriend Trenton Ivy admitted to killing her in St. Louis after a physical altercation and disposing her body. St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney's Office is charging him with first degree murder. The family reported her missing December 20th and then Ivy was arrested in Wisconsin for unrelated charges. I had to come here and help with the search. It was, an, it was a must. Just a few hours before the news, family friend Andrea McDowell left Kansas to join the search miles away. Every mother wants to lay eyes on their child. Yeah, we just we just need to see her no matter what condition. We just need to see her. We need to bring her body home. William's stepfather says the extra hands help them go the extra mile. I appreciate it. I appreciate everybody from from my core. I appreciate everybody. Thank you. He's thankful because every move they made was one step closer to closure. St. Louis needs closure. It's a lot of people that have other people that are missing, that need closure, that need hope, that there are other people that are willing to do this. So not just us, but St. Louis needs closure. Ivy is still incarcerated in Wisconsin and he's being held without bond. Now, according to online records, he has an extradition hearing in Wisconsin next Friday.